Welcome back to the 44th annual Pet Games right here in the Pet Collective. Today we're bringing you the 40 meter doggy paddle. One of my favorite events, Jake. I love water and I love pools. And take a look at this healthy bunch of contenders representing countries from across the globe. These dogs cannot rely on strength alone. As we've seen in previous years, it is just as difficult to stay in their assigned lanes. Yes, and as we know, veering out of your lane adds a three second penalty to a dog's overall time. The race today will be three heats, top three times will medal. In order to complete the race, a dog must touch the opposite wall from the start. And it looks like our first competitors are getting in the pool for the first heat. Heading with lane one representing the United States is Chance. And in lane two representing Great Britain is Yogi who looks to be warming up. Oh, going oh. right in. He's really excited for the race. He's been training really hard for this. Loves the water, loves swimming. He's been doing it his entire life. Here comes the gun. And it looks like a tight race right out of the gate. Neck and neck there, Jake. Neck yeah. and neck. Here they come. Oh, and it looks like Chance is taking out the lane. And as we said before, this will result in a time penalty. It looked as if Yogi was disoriented. I'm not sure if that was a tactic by Chance. But he's turning around. It looks like we have Chance to be the first to touch the wall. Let's take another look at that crossing of the line. You can see that once he untangles himself from the line, he recovers quickly to make it to the finish. Oh, looks like Yogi is upset. He's taking the lane with him. He's like, how do you like it, Chance? How do you like it? Still had a great time across and could still medal, but I guess he was not happy with the confusion caused by Chance. It was still a very close race, Jim. Moving on to heat number two, in lane one representing Mexico is King, a Chihuahua, and in lane two representing Sweden is Hugo, a Yellow Lab. And it looks like King is swimming straight into the lane and then back to the wall. I guess it just wasn't his afternoon. I mean, a lot of these times, Brett, you have to remember that some of these dogs don't even know that they're racing. In the meantime, Hugo did finish the race, but off to the right. We'll have to see how his time fares up. Now, heat number three. In lane one, representing Ukraine is Emma, and lane two, representing Canada, is Herbert the Newfoundland. And it looks like they removed the lane divider altogether, most likely because they already can tell these dogs lack the proper orientation not to swim into it. is abandoning the race. I suppose the water was too much for such a big dog. Looks like Emma's taking a, the scenic route to the finish line. You think the dogs have any idea what direction they are, are going in there? It doesn't game? seem like that, Brett, not at all. It does look like Emma will finish the race. Possible medal. And it wasn't the strongest race, but based on the performance of the rest of the competitors today, it may be enough for the medal. Herbert, looking both tired and depressed. You know, so much commitment goes into this and just it's very disappointing when you get to race day and uh, the, the stress just gets to you. Emma's got the look on her face of a dog who would really want to have her face stuck in a food bowl right now. It's true, these dogs get tired and need nourishment after such a grueling swim. And as the results are coming in, it appears that with the added time penalties, both Chance and Yogi We'll lose to Emma from the Ukraine. Quite an upset, quite an upset, Jake. Britain was a favorite in today's race. So it's gonna be Emma in the Ukraine with the gold medal, followed by Chance scooping up his second silver for the US in this year's games. And finishing out with the bronze will be Yogi the Corgi from the UK. As the winners take the podium, we're seeing a very different lineup than we might have expected. Chance clearly thinks he really deserves that gold medal. I'm surprised Yogi didn't try the same thing. You know, Chance just beat him to the punch. Well, it looks like he's out of here, folks. And so are we. It looks like that does it for the 40-meter doggy paddle. Thanks for joining us here at the Pet Games. I'm Jacob Engelhoff. And I'm Brett Pagordis. Stay tuned to the Pet Collective for full coverage of the 44th Annual Pet Games. Bum, ba bum 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 bum